Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, G registration. It's either 1989 or 1990. Uh, Land Rover 90 2.5 diesel hardtop. Um, it's an ex-utilities one, so it's the standard uh, normally aspirated 2.5 diesel. Um, same as the military ones, really. Uh, finished in Epsom Green Metallic. Uh, originally it was white. It's been um, NATO green at some point, and now, uh, as I say, Epsom Green Metallic. It's been sprayed rather than rolled or brushed. Um, but some while ago, because the paint is flaking off in one or two areas. Um, quite an interesting car, this. It's done very low indicated mileage. It's only showing, only showing 57,000 miles, which um, may, or may, may or may not be correct. Certainly the way it dries, it's quite possible. But its uh, chassis is uncannily good. It's really, really splendid, the chassis on this one, from what I can see of it. Um, if it didn't have the correct number stamped on the front outrigger, I'd say it had been rechassied. But uh, all the right number is all there. Um, just walking around it, it's on <coughs> standard road wheels and tyres. It has got a bonnet mounted spare. I have had for the photos, I have had the, um, the spare wheel mounted on there, but it makes it so heavy to open the bonnet. Um, I've put it in the, um, in the low bay for now. Obviously it can go back on there if needs be. Um, easy clean interior, mud flaps, tow, tow bar with electrics and uh, agricultural pintle it looks like. In the back here we've got uh, a twin bench seat on the near side and a single seat on the off side. And that's about it um, spec wise. Just walking around it, it's very very straight and dent free. Um, really as I say, just a few areas where the paint's flaking off that uh, lets it down slightly but it's not one that's full of, um, full of dents and wrinkles and things like that. Just looking at it around the front end here um, a few marks just where the spare wheel sits on there, but when the spare wheel's on you can't see those and a couple of areas of paint loss as well around the, um, where the wheel sits. But again, when the, when the wheel's on there you can't see those. Um, down the near side, very, very straight in terms of its wings and things like that. It's really good. Um, t very, very tiny dink just there in the front of the near side front wing. Not broken the paint though. Few areas of paint chips on the um, on the wings. Up here, it would appear it's had um, probably scuttle corners done because they're a very very slightly darker shade of green, I think, by the look of them. Um, and obviously, uh, the original white and green is just showing through underneath the windscreen, as always. Uh, and up here and around the seams and things is generally where you can see it um, on the roof above the screen there, down the gutters if you look hard enough. Um, the side A post is fine, that's all quite good there. Uh, near side, oh, near side mirror housing has got a hole in the back of it, doesn't affect the mirror itself though. Near side door has obviously had a bit of spraying done around here, I don't know what that's all about. Um, some blemish or something, feels fairly, uh, fairly flat, but um, there's a evidence of spraying around there in a slightly different shade of green. The um, rest of the door is very good from an electrolytic reaction, but I do know the frame on this one is poor. Um, electrolytic reaction down the bottom edge and delamination. Uh, yeah, frame on the near side door is poor. It's gone right along the bottom edge, starting to go up along the, the, um, the edge near the hinge there, and, uh, and it's gone there as well, so that really isn't, uh, isn't brilliant. Still shuts fine if you lift it though, um, but it is sort of, probably could do with a bit of replacement. It's obviously had... Um, a patch in the uh, the floor on the near side on the footwell. That's, um, looks like it's quite well done though. Inside here, standard landy interior. Seats are slightly um, slightly torn on the passenger side and on the driver's seat cushion. Backrests are fine though. It's got a centre cubby box. Dash has got a couple of extra switches and stuff in it. I don't know what they do. Um, and the cover for the uh, transmission tunnel just needs its big um, cable tie around it. Still the, well not original, but still olive green inside there. Nato green. Near side rear wing is all fine. Um, near side van side is all good as well. Um, roof is all fine there. I'd say very, very straight this one. Um, cross member looks as good as the chassis. Near, uh, rear door, a little bit of delamination and paint loss on the base of the rear door. Uh, but otherwise at all. It's obviously the rear door's come off or something else, but the um, the frame on the bottom is fine, no problems there at all. In the back here, 
standard landing really. So the spare wheel is there at the minute, although it can go on the bonnet if needs be. A um, couple of seats on the near side and a single seat on the off side. Down the off side again, very very straight, there's a slight dent in the bottom of the driver's door but it's an older landy so that's what you get. Um, it's all good there, van side is good, offside rear wing is fine. The eyebrows are a little bit discoloured on it, they're sort of black and yeah, black and a bit grey. A um, couple of longer hedge scratches up here in the top of the near, of the offside van side. Um, some electrolytic reaction on the uh, top of the driver's door and paint loss around the top hinge. Paint loss around the back of the, the A post on the driver's side. And the modesty cover's a little bit crinkled on the driver's side. Uh, again, I think it's had um, work on the scuttle corners. Possibly the uh, new section's let in because uh, the paint is a very, very slightly different shade of green. Um, offside front wing is fine apart from a large chunk of paint loss right on the offside front corner there. Uh, that's about it really. A couple of areas of paint loss on the back of the offside front wing. Inside the driver's side, uh, yeah, a large sort of uh, section out of the um, driver's seat cushion that really needs to be replaced, I guess. About 40 quid for a new one of those, plus the VAP. Um, centre cubby box is a bit grubby, but that's about it. Say so inside wise, it's um, standard landy basically, slightly grubbyish, but uh, not too bad. Driver's door frame is fine, feels okay, yeah that's got a few years left of, of life left in it, yeah it's only really the near side door that um, has seen better days in terms of its frame. Uh, that's about it really, my name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk uh, we take part exchanges, we take debit card and Visa and MasterCard credit cards, obviously with your PIN number. Um, for credit cards we have to add a 2% surcharge on. Uh, we can ship it worldwide, obviously at a cost, that's about it. End.